So I've been saying I'm going to make like a little mini cannon guy for a while now. Uh, and I've been putting it off for like three days. I don't even understand why. It's not even like it's a hard thing to make. I'm just lazy. I don't know. It's to be expected from me, I guess. But uh, yeah, so cannon is like... It's a weapon that is becoming pretty matter again lately. So, you know, I'm sure some of you lot want to want to learn it a little bit. And I definitely don't blame you. Uh, me too, like, included. I just... I find this weapon really fun and when it becomes good again it's, it's always it's always a fun time i don't know it's just it's just a fun weapon so i'll just go with the basics you know not get too in depth but talk about like shoe combos um you know strings dodge reads uh just some like little tips as well on the weapon um and yeah let's just let's just get into it so most of your true combos on cannon are going to come from d-light uh such as d-light there you can see that that's true um and d-light nair too which is d like Nair is your main, like, kill combo on the weapon. Um, like, it's just... I mean, obviously, it's shipwrecked. It's not going to kill at 130. Probably going to kill at, like, 160 on shipwreck. But, yeah, most maps, it'll kill decently early. Uh, not too early, obviously. It's not the strongest thing in the game, but... It's pretty reliable. If you hit it grounded, if you hit the d light grounded, like... It'll never drop, for the most part. You can just hit it, and you'll be fine. Uh, if you GC it, you can... Like, you still can do it if you GC. Because uh, GC D lights are always good. But you can see there, like, if you GC it too high, it, you can't hit it anymore. So it's pretty inconsistent on a, on a gravity cancel. But at the same time, like, you can, you, like, if you gravity cancel too high, you notice you've done it too high, you can just dare still. Like, no matter how you hit a, a D light, even gravity canceled, you can always dare. But yeah, grounded, now is 100% consistent. It'll always hit, and you'll be fine. But. Yeah, you, you might you might struggle sometimes trying to hit it off a of GC, but uh, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. You can also use GC uh, D light off stage like this and get like if I try and show off like that, um, you can just incorporate it into strings and I don't know, you can give your opponent uh, quite quite heavily with the dare that comes after because obviously dares are it, it spikes at a very very solid angle and um, oh I'm, I'm I kind of just SD. In training room during a guy that is that is what you love to see from the person teaching you a weapon is a it's a nice little sd but yeah so that's that's d light that's everything true out d light you can d light sir but it's, it's really weird i actually don't even know if it's true i mean well okay i just got it true like you can do it it's just it's quite inconsistent um at later helps you actually can't do it true uh, you can see that they're like too high um but yeah you can d light sir true uh, off a of gravity cancel and grounded um, so that's always an option I don't know why you'd go for it low house you wouldn't really like it's not optimal but the only like reason I can imagine that you go for it is off like a, a read uh, off stage or just like as an extension off stage uh, if say if you do like D like dare side like sir then you could D like dare sir again uh, stuff like that is useful, but just doing it straight on the ground here is is not too good because D-Light like there is always better. And I'll get into why uh, in a second, but yeah. Um, D-Light side light is something you would imagine would work, but it doesn't work, so you don't even don't even bother going for that. Um, next is... What should we talk about next? Let's talk about Dare. Dare as an approach tool is, is pretty insane. Honestly, like dash jump Dare. Because obviously, like, you can see the hitbox of this move. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Like, it, you're pretty safe throwing it out. And as well, like, it doesn't have much end lag if you miss. Like, plus, if you're, you know, dash jumping, like, you have momentum left over. So you can carry that on on the ground and you're just not going to get punished. If you overshoot it, you won't get punished. If you undershoot, you know, you're most likely to, to get punished, obviously. But say if you just miss like this, like, they're not going to punish you. In any world, and even if they do try, you can cover yourself easy with an light because N light is an insane tool on cannon. So many people don't give credit for like how broken this move is. It's, it's pretty mad. I, actually, I wouldn't call it broken, but it's uh, it's quite crazy. It's it hits stack too. It's it's like and spikes, and it's just I don't even know. It, you just when you hit, get hit, my kind of N light is pretty tilting always, but um, yeah, so death. As a dash jump, it's a pretty decent approach tool. And out of there, you can get a lot of reads. Uh, even if they, like, say they don't have a dodge and you hit a dare, you can get a dare side light. Not off a dash jump, but if you don't have the momentum, you can get a dare side light like that. Um, 
if they, you know, if they go too far, you can just dash towards them like that and still hit. But yeah, off a D like that, that's probably when it's most consistent. You can get to like 10 frames. It's unjumpable uh, as well, which means you can get stuff like this for free. Uh, and that's how you hit like cannon zero to death. So I'll get into that as well. But yeah, you can just you can get pretty crazy stuff on cannon. I'm sure you lot know. I'm sure you lot have been hit by it. But yeah, so daring to side light, always an option, especially out of D light dare. Because uh, it just sets it up perfectly. And um, yeah, side light is probably like the next best. I mean, it's kind of unusual. Like the D light and side light are both pretty hard moves to hit in neutral like you can play around them really easily like your opponent can just like really focus on not getting hit by those moves and they honestly probably won't get hit by those moves if they're focusing hard enough because they've not got the best of hitboxes especially side light it's just pretty weak but i don't know if you do hit it's very rewarding especially if you do catch a dodge afterwards which i'll get into is very very easy to do uh, especially for side light but yeah there as well so, uh, yeah, side light leads into uh, side light there, side light jump there. This is unjumpable, and so is side light there. The last patch, side light there was jumpable, but this patch it isn't. They've uh, made it so that it's unjumpable now, which is, it's made kind of very, very, very good again, and it's why a lot of people are using this weapon right now, because side light there being jumpable completely killed, like, zero to death combos like this, because they could jump out there, and you can't hit the siren to recovery true because Saren's recovery is true, which is something I should mention. Uh, certain health, that like later health, you can see there it wasn't true, but say if I do like, do like uh, should be true if I hear that, yeah, 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 yeah. I've got faith, I've got faith in my canon knowledge. One frame, uh, it probably could have been true if I did it right, but at very like particular health, it is true. Um, there's a certain range, it's like dark orange. Maybe he was a bit too deep in orange there, but yeah, like around that health, um, I didn't try and sort taunt then, but uh, yeah, around that health, uh, Saren to recovery is true, so definitely a good thing to go for, and even if it's not true, it's unjumpable, and if you've got into the position where you've hit side like Sarah, like, they probably don't have a dodge anyway, so it's always worth going for, really. And off of that, you can get, like, really good conversions, especially on characters like Onyx, because you have Ensig, which I'm surprised didn't even kill there, but same with Sidra. Um, same with most kind of legends, Zul, too. Like, they all kind of have this diagonal hitbox, which works very well for the cannon kit because off of recovery, you can hit quite easily. Um, it catches a lot of dodges on Onyx, that is. Uh, same on Sidra, it does catch quite a few dodges, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can go for after that recovery. Uh, you can go for a jump there as well. You can go for a GC end light if they fall. Um, I'll try to show that off. But if they fall, you can go for a GC end light, which can, uh, you know, let you zero to death them. And um, you can, there's a lot of stuff. You can get creative on cannon. But like I said, this is just going to be like a basic guide. I'm not going to go way too in-depth on a weapon because I do want to make like a like an ultimate cannon guide one day. Like I have with Scythe, Corn, and some Blasters. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see when that comes out. Probably not for a long time. Not not until they release Scythe cannon anyway. But yeah. Um, I'll probably go over the dodge reads. Now, I mean, actually, I guess I should go over things like Enlight. Um, so off of Enlight, you can hit like stuff where if you chase much towards him and you turn around sir it'll cover quite a few dodges and it's, it even covers if you don't do anything it'll still hit so it's pretty like solid thing to go for um that can lead obviously into dare uh can lead into like an entig if you really want it to like that uh 16 frames you can see like a lot of things on cannon are like a lot of dodge frames but it makes up for it by once you catch a dodge like the damage output is insane. All guaranteed damage as well. But like I said, I'll get into that. Uh, also, off of end light, off stage, you can hit end light into chase dodge ground pound. You just chase dodge uh, like towards them horizontally, not diagonally. And uh, that works quite well. You can do that into a dare too. Uh, it doesn't work that well if they're like drifting towards you, but I don't know. Say if you do it like this, they're a bit more damaged. Yeah, you can hit the dare and it just leads to really, really easy gimps. Also, like, ground pound on stage is, is very strong for some reason. I don't, like, not many weapons have a strong on stage ground pound. Maybe Gorners. But uh, I'll turn on hitboxes, actually, so you can see. Uh, there we go. Or oh, it might be hitboxes. No, it's hitboxes. Um, you can see, like, the on stage version has this, like, really wide ground pound. I don't know why it does, but it just does. Uh, if you do it off stage, it doesn't have this, like, massive hitbox. It's more like vertical. 
But if you do hit it on stage, it has like a really wide, weird hitbox. I don't know. So it's something you can go for. And you can get reads out of it too. And you convert um, damage off of it. It's, yeah, it's weird. Not a lot of weapons have potential off of on stage ground pound. Maybe gauntlets. But um, yeah, cannon. I don't know. Cannon's just built different, I guess. It's just something that you can go for. Like dash jump ground pound, something like that. It has a lot of active frames too. Uh, so yeah, just I guess keep it in the back pocket. So yeah, I think I should go over some dodge reads probably. Uh, and I'm only going to go over dodge reads out of like sidelight and uh, dare because it's so simple. Okay, so I'll show you, right? It's literally a 50 50 and you can get a zero to death out of it. Keep in mind though, I'm on shipwreck, so it's not going to kill as easily on this map. But if I hit a sidelight, right? All I've got to do is sidelight again. Actually, no, let's not do that. Sidelight, wait, sidelight, okay? That catches spot dodge. And like this is reactable to you obviously so you can just sidelight you can wait and you can sidelight again and that catches spot dodge Also catches away sidelight sidelight right uh, and as well keep in mind that off this you can get all this for free uh, as, I mean If it's like like this you can get more uh, for example, okay, I'll, I'll show you if you have more stage to work with, you can see they're going off stage here. But if you side like here, you can get all this guaranteed damage. And then plus maybe an end at the end if your opponent does walk into it. But obviously here, like right at the edge of the stage, you can't do all that. So you do have to settle for like a bit less damage, which you can definitely take because uh, it's just such an easy read. So that covers spot dodge, dodge away, uh, it covers dodge down. It covers dodge, not up in a way, but it covers down in a way. Just really as simple as that. Um, and it, yeah, so that's it for just doing a side lane to another side lane. It covers sport dodge, it covers away, it covers down and away, and it covers down. So that's four dodges, right? But it also, you can with uh the other thing you can do you can cover the rest of the dodges so you can cover in if you just turn around and do a side light and you can cover down and in as well you can also cover spot dodge too with spot dodge you can catch with uh, both but yeah for up the way you catch our up dodges is you jump and then gc and do a side light in the direction that they're dodging up right uh for example up and away you just jump and then do a side light like that and yeah, that's how you catch those dodges. Obviously, it's a very hard read compared to the rest of them, but literally two side lights, right? Like two different versions of doing side light cover, let's see, cover spot dodge, uh, away, down, in, down and away, down and in. Yeah, like six or five of eight dodges, which is pretty insane and it's literally a 50 50 like it's all you have to go for and like i said you can get the easiest damage of your life out of it because all of this is guaranteed none of it's jumpable and the recovery is even true like yeah no it's pretty insane um but it's kind of the same for dare um and i'll show you now so we'll start with spot dodge if you dash jump there right and they spot dodge you can just turn around to your side light um, you can, and they do. Oh, what's the other one? They dodge down. Whoops, that's definitely not what I tried to do. If they dodge down, you can also do that and get all this damage for free. Um, if they dodge, I've already should you in. Down and in. Like this. You can do it. If they dodge up and in as well, which the other one doesn't uh, cover. Side light, you can't do it. Uh, like that. But with there, you can. It covers up and in. Now you can get all this. <laughs> it's just a cannon. Well, wow. um, and then it's kind of the same as a side light for the rest. It can cover away by just going towards them like that. Um, it can cover up and away, I think. It might not be able to actually. Oh, we'll have to find out together. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. No, I think it can. Hold on. Yeah, it can. It has to be like kind of max range D light. You have to be hitting like the tip of it to be able to get that, but. You can get it. It's the it's the main point. Um, so yeah, up and away, down and away. Obviously, same. Just do that. And uh, yeah, that's like every single dodge. Once again, 50-50 and you get so much damage out of it. And you can all like you can do these reads out of a true combo too, because down like there exists. 
It's just, yeah, it's it's pretty insane what you can do on cannon. How's that sad? I mean, nah, I'm missing. Not even that. And like, oh my god, my brain's fried. But I think that's most of it. Like, I mean, you have things like utility on cannon where you can like, you know, just set it back to stage and make it back to stage very, very easily. Like, you just, you're making it back to stage on cannon. And that's as well what's very good on it is that it like allows you, obviously because you're like, because you're extending so far off stage on the weapon and going for these insane like strings, zero to deaths and stuff. On weapons like Scythe, you have no tools to, to get you back to stage. But on Cannon, you have Sir, right? Like you can see if I've, I've used both jumps and my recovery here and I'm probably still going to make it. Okay, maybe not. May, maybe not. Maybe not that far, but... You can see what I'm trying to say, like, say, you know, whereas on any other weapon, you'd only be able to cover this distance, right? Or not even that. Say if I touch ground. Oh, like, I've touch ground, hold on. Like, that, that's all the distance you can cover, right? Is, is that, with a dodge. On cannon, you can sair first, do the dodge, sair again. Look where I am. Like, if we compare... Well, I messed it up again. If we compare here, right, to all the way over here... To, I, I, you can't even see me on the screen. It's it's that insane. I, I don't know. But things like that definitely put to use. And Honestly, I think that's about it. Uh, something else as well. If your opponent is trying to get back to stage, if they don't have any options or anything, um, you can just kind of like GC end light like this against a wall. And like, if they don't have any options and you know for a fact they're going to come and touch the wall. Uh, obviously not with recovery because if you try and do this and they use recovery, then they're going to hit you with the recovery. But... They're trying to get back to the wall with jumps or with their dodge or whatever. And it's the last thing they have. You can just GCN light. And like I said, it hits stacked. So if you do GCN light, you know, it's, it's just going to hit anyway. So you don't have to worry about that. And yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, like I said, just like a basic guide. I do want to make like an ultimate kind of guide thing eventually. But until then, you're going to have to settle with this. And yeah, just look at the range you can cover with one dodge. If I had one more jump, that I'd be able to make it back. It's, it's insane and um if you did enjoy it by the way and you're not already then consider subscribing you know uh, i put out quite a lot of guides uh mostly like just casual commentary and playing the game and stuff like that and chatting complete nonsense the entire time and uh i'm sure you lot will enjoy if not you can always unsub but uh, yeah it really helps me out and i'll see you lot in whatever i post next no idea what that'll be but i hope you look forward to it and i hope you see uh hope i see you there regardless have a great rest of your day and peace.